morning from Amsterdam. My name is Ivana and today I think we're going for a walk with my friend Franny. Also, I'm going to book the ticket for Morocco. I cannot wait. <laughs> Completely forgot to vlog because Franny and I talked so much. We always talk so much and now I'm stuck in traffic listening to Bollywood music as you can hear we have one Bollywood music radio station sometimes I can't hear it because then I miss India too much but now I like it by the way it's also very funny they're discussing they're discussing Bollywood movie stars so Priyanka Chok, uh, Chopra Chokra Priyanka Chopra Akshay Kumar Kangana uh, and I totally understand who they're talking about this is too funny. Stuck in traffic, stuck in traffic, stuck in traffic. <laughs> when you actually already know the Bollywood songs playing on the <laughs> Hindustan radio here in the Netherlands. Too funny. Some of you guys are also surprised to hear me listen to Bollywood mu music while I'm packing or something. I actually listen to Bollywood music a lot. And that's why comments like, oh, you only make these trailer reviews or uh, these movie reviews, you only make them for the views. I'm like, you obviously don't watch my vlogs. You obviously don't watch my vlogs. Elevatorception, elevatorception. My hair is so cracked up. I need to wash it. Right now I'm going to do groceries because we have no food. We need to have food, man. I am so hungry right now in this Easter candy, cookies, whatever is just calling my name. But no, bikini body. Also, I have like two kilos of chocolate at home. <laughs> wow, I look like the crazy lady from Bulbulia. <laughs> also, look, 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 look. I present to you food. <laughs> A fridge full of food. Loving it. What is it, baby? What do you want? What do you want? This little puppy is in my way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to dance? <laughs> now you don't want to dance anymore? Just your feet. Show me your feet, dancing feet. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> he loves to dance for me. In a vlog, somebody asked me to show some staple Dutch food. The thing is, I never eat Dutch staple food. I don't know why. It's quite bland. Dutch staple food is quite bland. But of course, there are going to be some Dutch people who say, ah, but you can season it the way you want it. Like traditional Dutch food is bland. And Stefan is looking very surprised to me. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, it is, honey. Yes, it is. Compared to Indian food, it is. <laughs> but today, today, that's what I wanted to tell you. I made Dutch staple food. This is stompot. Stompot in general is just mashed potatoes with burkol, so kale. But I made a variation on it with sweet potatoes, so making it a little bit more healthier. If you know high GI, low GI, blah, 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 blah. Sweet potatoes are healthier for you than normal potatoes. Somebody's grumpy. And uh, I made it with spinach. We got some broccoli over here and a corn, uh, corn burger. This is very, very traditional Dutch. So stampot is very traditional but Dutch, but this meal in general is also very typically Dutch. So just potatoes, meat, usually Dutch people eat meat, and some veggies. That's Dutch staple food. Can you understand now? Stefan said, I just said, but I have it on video camera, that I said bloemkool stampot, which would mean cauliflower. No, not cauliflower, boerenkool, kale, kale. Kale is the traditional version. So mashed potatoes with kale. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, yeah, so now you understand why I don't often eat Dutch staple food. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Mm. This burger is really good. Corn carrot burger. Mm, veggie. Yo, guess who is booking her flight to Morocco? So I am just checking all of the flights and I think I'm going to take this flight to Tonga. There we go, look for it, look for it. Well, this is a nice animal. <laughs> the flight is even cheaper actually, 134 euros. But wait, maybe I do not get to bring luggage. Let me see. Booking, booking, booking. I will book the ticket and then I will get back to you later when it's definitely booked. Guess who just booked her flight to Morocco? Ah! I am so freaking excited. Oh! 
this was so spontaneous like honestly I was planning to go to Asia and then I was like no I don't really have time to go to Asia Morocco really wasn't on my list for this year at all but when I saw it I was just like yes Morocco why not it's warm it's plus uh, 20 degrees plus it's a country with delicious food friendly people the Moroccan people that I know are super nice and they're supposed to be even more nice when you get there so I am freaking excited I hope you guys are excited too I just have to check with the Wi-Fi if we can you know if I can upload the vlogs because I'm going for 18 days um, but we will figure it out we will figure it out for now I'm so happy ah! I am so happy you have no idea oh I need some warmth in my life man two weeks we are going in two weeks beginning of March that's right that's right if you're not yet subscribed and you would like to travel to Morocco with me or actually with our travel squad because you are part of my travel squad if you are subscribed well if you're not yet part of the travel squad you can be click that subscribe button and uh, yeah I'm gonna end the vlog here actually put that thumbs up if you like this video and if you are excited about going to Morocco also if you have any tips or recommendations for Morocco put them down in the description below Thank you, my friends. I will see you next time. Bye.